Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is part two of my mega haul video. So, as I said in my first part, every year I do a huge order from the annual catalogue when it just comes out, and that way I maximise all my benefits. And the first part of this video focused on dies, embossing for older stamps, punches, all that good stuff. And the second one is going to invite basically everything else. So this is the annual catalogue. It is filled with yummy goodness. If you don't have a copy and you want one, then let me know and I will send one out to you straight away. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start with these that I'm really excited to use. And I haven't opened them at all, but I thought we'd do it together. And these are the soft pastel assortments. So let's have a look at this and see what it's like. Sorry for the noise. It's all those awful stickers. Don't you hate these stickers on the ends of the stuff? I really do. Get my goat. They have them always on. You find them sometimes on paper pads as well. It really annoys me. But there you go. These are our chalk, well they're not chalk, soft pastel assortments, let's see what does it say. It's in Coastal Cabana, um, Gorgeous Grape, um, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Mossy Meadow, uh, Night of Navy, Poppy Parade, I've missed one, Granny Apple Green. Okay, so those are the colours. You can apply these with blending brushes, stamping sponges or sponge daubers to blend. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. I think I'm going to make something else to store them in rather than this. They come in this foam here, so I think I'm going to make a different little box for them to be stored in because I want it to look pretty. But I think those are going to be really fun to play with. So let's put them aside for now. Let's get rid of the sticker because otherwise it's going to stick to everything else I have here. Okay, let's bring these in. These are the mini jam jars. And this goes with those peaches set. And aren't these adorable? As you can see here, they're plastic. And it's basically a mini jam jar. So cute so so cute and these are great for storage you can store lots of different little things in them as well and you could also can you imagine filling this up with skittles or something and then making the place making a little band around here so it's pretty and something pretty on top wouldn't that be cute as a little treat to someone really sweet i think so let's put it back in its little house if i can things never go back the same way as they came out there we go stick that aside and I got myself some more embossing paste because I love this to put through stencils and the reason I did that as well is we have some new stencils so let's open these up and have a look sorry for the noise let's see so we've got that one there okay and then we've got that one really nice then we've got this one here and then we've got that one there. So some really nice geometric patterns. Really, really nice. This is really great. I think they'll be lovely for um, making backgrounds for cards. You could, you can put ink through these with your um, blending brushes. You can um, just draw through them. You can also, um, of course, use the embossing paste. And of course, you can colour the embossing paste with your reinker. So lots of different things you can do. I really like using stencils a lot for mixed media work. So I'm pleased to see those. Okay, I got some more stamp and spritzers for my watercolouring because I can never have too many. And I wanted to put some oil into one actually, a little baby bit of baby oil, because there's a technique I've been using with paint and using the baby oil and to make it separate and is really cool effect so I wanted one of those for those but you can put water into here you can put an alcohol you can make these as well to make mists so you can put a little bit drop you can fill it with water and put a few drops of reinker in here and make your own mists as well just be aware that if it's water based like that it'll take a little while for it to dry it won't dry um, straight away but that's what a heat tool is for okay these embellishments are shaker shape so if you like making shakers these will fill up your shakers and they are glorious. 
you know they actually feel almost like rubber yeah they do it's almost like little rubber bits it's like they've used the off cuts from rubber really cool I love the colors they're so bright and fun so we've got those and there's 600 and so they actually tell you how many shape pieces there are can you believe it 675 pieces so that'll keep you busy and of course if you don't want to use them as shaker shapes you know in your shaker cards you can just use let me look at those cute little hearts and stuff you know you could just use those hearts there as embellishments on the card or little stars as well like that just use that as an embellishment on a card you know so really versatile and if you use that as embellishments they'll keep you going for years and um, we've got some brads back oh i'm so grateful we've got brads back i love my brads so these are some round and square brads so you've got little round ones here and then you've got these square ones here you've also got you've got them all white and black looking for some little round so you can see here that's why yeah you can see there you get the little round black as well they're quite small there so really nice great addition to cards also the great for making having movement on cards because you can stick something down with a brad and then it can still move it can still swing around okay we've got here some clear and silver epoxy essentials which are just in these colors here so these are let me open these up for you because they're not the same in both colors sorry about this crinkling so you've got that you can see there and then here I don't know if you can see how well you've got like little droplets here as well as little diamond shapes here and then circles at the top don't really have anything dark to show you against that's even worse so but those are cool okay so let's put those aside and I've got some more of the in color jewels the new in colors and I've got some of these lovely black matte dots but I think these have been great for flower centers and all sorts then I've got some of these these are so cute these are the in color square gems and these are the 2020 to 22 in colors so bumblebee cinnamon cider magenta madness misty moonlight and just jade nearly couldn't remember that one really nice i like those i got some more of the resin hearts because i just like them and some more of these holiday rhinestones because i love having the rhinestones in all these different colors okay so ribbons let's go on We've got Evening Evergreen here, and this is a Chevron Weave ribbon. Not that you can see very well. Let's see if I can get this plastic off it. Maybe not. There, you can sort of see Chevron Weave ribbon. Then we've got some here of the In Colour Ever Evening Evergreen. What's this called? open weave ribbon and I showed you the other ones in the other video so you'll be able to see it in that then I've got some of this this one's easy to get rid of this is just jade and gold and then I've got some of this here and this is flirty flamingo metallic ribbon and this is gold ribbon gold shimmer and then I've got some of this which is also shimmer ribbon and it's grey granite okay so set those aside get rid of that and then we're going to go on now to paper the six by six paper sacks to start off with this is christmas oh, didn't make it to the bin anyway and this is called tidings of christmas so let's go through this very quickly you've got that one and then that one i like this crumb cake color that's pretty and you've got that and you see you've got quite a few sheets of each one which is really cool and then that 
Cups. The colours in this are Cherry Cobbler, Evening Evergreen, Misty Moonlight, Sahara Sand, oh, Sahara Sand was that one, Soft Succulent and Whisper White. Now I'm going to go both through very quickly. I'm going to bring them all in at one go if I can get hold of them. Everything's sticking to each other here at the moment. As you can see, these are in colours and these are the new patterns. So you can see here, these are the new patterns for the in colour paper stacks. And you've got the same then for all the other for all the other colour families. So here you've got um, the brights. And then you've got the subtles here. So you have this for every colour in our colour families. And you've got the regals. This is glorious, isn't it? And then, of course, the neutrals. Okay. I'm just going to put this back in here before it gets confused. And these are new. These are gold and rose, gold and rose gold, metallic speciality paper. I'm sorry if you hear something outside, they're just starting to mow the lawn. So there you've got gold and rose gold. And then last but not least is our 12 by 12 stacks of paper. And let me bring this first lot in. This one is called In the Wild. So we're going to go through this uber quickly. You've got that one. And then that one, that one, that one, I love this, that one, and then that one, and then this one here is, the colours are basic black, Cajun craze, crushed curry, evening evergreen, merry Merlot, soft succulent and whisper white. Okay, so let's put those down. And this one is the peach. And if you saw my first video, you'd met you saw me showing you the peach dies and stamps. And this is what they coordinate with. So you've got those glorious peaches here. Really pretty. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Oh, I love this. This makes great background for scrapbooking. And that. Oh, these are lovely. I actually got two packs of these, so I'm really pleased I did. So we'll be definitely using these in Car Club, I can tell you that right now. So I run an online car club and in my Facebook group once a month and all the details can be found on my website and the link to that is below. The colours here are Balmy Blue, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Manga, Manga Melody, Pale Papaya, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink and Whisper White. Okay, let's move on. This paper is called Sweet Symmetry. Okay, you can see here all the different designs. And this also does have a matching stamp and a punch. I only got the punch, I didn't get the stamp set. And these colours are Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Floaty Flamingo, Night of Navy, Just Jade and Whisper White. So, let me show you this. Now I didn't get this initially, I thought I didn't want it. And I saw other people using another. Yep, I want this. So let me try and get the pen stuck. I may as well get rid of the packaging. It's causing a problem already. Let me just stick it back down. There we go. This is the in colour, the new in colours. Um, vellum, shimmery vellum. Look at that. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell the shimmer on that. Look at these, so you've got the different colours. Trying to find them all together. There you go. Look at these, aren't they glorious? So cute. 
and you can see how the colour changes when you put it up against something else like this. So those are the in colours, they're lovely, I think they're going to be, in the catalogue they show them cut out for some flowers, I think they're going to be great little accents on cards, especially if you cut them out with a there's some small little heart dies and star dies and all sorts like that. They're going to be lovely embellishments on cards. So the other two packs of paper I've already shown you in my previous haul video, so I won't show you them again, but I will link that video so you can watch it. And this is called Pansy Petals, and this one is called Hand Pens. And we're using both of these actually in Car Club that's going to happen um, on Wednesday this week. Yeah, Wednesday next week rather I should say so sorry about that Claire so there you go so that is my mega 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 haul video so do check out the first part as I said if you want to copy the catalogue just send me a message and I'll get one out to you so I am going to go and put all of this away and play and have lots and lots of crafty fun so thank you again and as I said all the links to my website my social media links and all that stuff is in the description box below so until next time enjoy being creative bye